Construction begins on the line. It is happening. Construction works on the mirror line have already started. Footage released by aerial photography company OT Sky has shown the commencement of construction works on the mirror line, which is part of the NEOM development in Saudi Arabia. I will tell you more about the construction progress of the linear city that has been described as a revolution in civilization. As is the norm, remember to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on more upcoming construction mega projects. Also, remember to hit the notification bell to get alerts when more similar videos come in. Details of the construction works as revealed by the drone footage. An aerial photography company called OT Sky recently shot a video revealing the mirror line's construction progress. The project is being built northwest of Saudi Arabia. In the footage, numerous excavators can be seen digging wide, linear trenches in the desert. The trenches are expected to hold the foundation of the city, which is planned to be 170 kilometers long. The footage also shows preparations for an underground transport system that is planned to run underneath the city. The mirror line has been designed to accommodate over 9 million people. It will consist of two 1,600 feet tall buildings running parallel to each other across 75 miles. It will pass through the desert, coastal, and mountain landscapes. The footage serves the good purpose of convincing the naysayers that the project can actually be done. The project had received significant opposition and raised doubts about whether it could be accomplished or was a mere work of fiction. In fact, many people were convinced that the project could never be realized, with one Dezeen commentator saying, if this gets built, I will eat everybody's hat. Perhaps it is the right time for him to start collecting the hats after the footage of the construction work was released. He can have to eat a couple of those. In the words of Tarek Kadumi during an exclusive interview, the line megacity will revolutionize our current way of life and will be net zero over its lifetime. The Announcement of Trevi Arabian Soil Contractors Trevi Arabian Soil Contractors also officially announced the commencement of construction works. The announcement stated the commencement of foundation works on the Mirror Line City project. Trevi Arabian Soil Contractors is a subsidiary of the Subsoil Engineering Trevi Group. According to the company, the foundation works started immediately after the completion of the test piles. The test piles were done to identify the ideal technology that will be used to perform the project. Trevi further reveals that there are up to 70 meters of excavation works from the work surface. As a result, the company has a plan to deploy high-end and versatile soil mech equipment to be used for the foundation works. Currently, the foundation work is being executed by a total workforce of approximately 150 people. This number is expected to increase when construction works reach their full capacity. Trevi has also stated that the equipment currently in use for the foundation is the Soil Mech SR100 and the SR90. There are plans to deploy the SR135, SR115, and SR125. Overview of the Neom City Project in the Desert the plan of the Nam city was first announced in 2021 by the Saudi prince, when he said he wanted his country to be home to a construction project that would be as iconic as the pyramids of Egypt. According to officials, this would be the most livable city in the world. The linear city, which will be called the Mirror Line, is projected to cost a whopping 1 trillion US dollars. The skyscraper will be taller than the Empire State Building. It will be made of mirrored glass and be part of the long stretch of a city called the Neom. The mirror line skyscraper will consist of two 1,600 feet tall buildings, running parallel to each other across 75 miles. It will pass through the desert, coastal, and mountain landscapes. It will also have high-speed trains that will run underneath the buildings. A marina for boats will also be available. One of the most significant features of the skyscraper is the eight-sided buildings. It will have a yacht berth, a mountain resort, and a suspended sports stadium. The skyscraper will be so long that it will have to sit on struts to consider the Earth's curvature. The state-of-the-art buildings will feature a silver shrine alongside an intricate interior design that will have greeneries, stairwells, and houses that will create a linear community that will be fed through vertical farming integrated into the walls of the buildings. Residents of Neom City will have to pay a subscription for three meals a day. What is more, the Mirror Line will have sports stadiums that will be over 1,000 feet above the ground. 
The fact that the mirror line will have such sporting amenities, and that the entire Neom City will be totally carbon neutral and environmentally sustainable, will make life in the desert more livable. Not the usual hot, standy, and sticky desert environment we know. However, some environmentalists dispute the fact that the city will be environmentally friendly. According to environmental planners, the sheer size, height, and length of the mirror line will disrupt birds' normal migration and flying patterns. They also argue that the mirrored glaze of the buildings will confuse birds and other animals. Such are the things that have made them disagree with the fact that the mirror line project will be planet-friendly. On completion, the mirror line skyscraper will run from the Gulf of Aquaba, passing through the mountain range and extending along the coast into a desert metropolis. The plan is just striking. Two mirror-encased skyscrapers will stretch for more than 1,000 miles across the swath of mountain and desert terrain. It will provide homage to over 9 million people. Completion Dates Although Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman wants the project to be done and dusted by 2030, engineers, designers, and urban planners have projected it to be completed in 2050. What is your opinion on this project? Do you think it can be accomplished within its estimated timelines? Share your thoughts in the comments section.